Hi, welcome to Lauren View and Tara too. I'm really glad you're here. Today's date is Monday, May 15th, 2023. And in this video, I want to uh, explore with the tarot the answer to a question I read today. It intrigued me and I thought I'd share it with you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. The compilation I am going to move to will be available to you if you click on the Facebook link that will be in the video description box. But I'll try to cover things so it's not necessary for you to do that, just if you wish to. Okay, here we go. You see, in the theaters right now is a movie called Guardian of the Galaxies 3. Okay, it's uh, starring Chris Pratt, who I really uh, enjoy anything he's in. All right, but uh, here's what some alt media chatter had to say about the movie in general. Okay, and the director, it's interesting. First of all, there are lengthy scenes of innocent animal type creatures being terrified, tortured, vivisected, and subjected to gruesome experience, experiments. There's a whole town where human type creatures look like experiments from the island of Dr. Moreau. There are many actual human children in cages though the movie does not show them being otherwise maltreated. That is saved for the animal creatures. There is a scene of someone getting their face peeled off, followed by a long full screen close up of exactly what that looks like. Frazzled, dot, rip, anyone? Okay. This movie was directed by James Gunn. There are nods to the actions of the cabal and deep state woven into the plot of the film. The question is, and here's what we'll be exploring, whether he included these references at the behest of the Black Hats or the White Hats. You see, the Black Hats have a hit, twisted belief, religious belief, that disclosing their crimes to humanity in order to gain a perverted form of permission and approval is uh, how they've used a lot of media over the years. But then again, the White Hats also have their levers of control in Hollywood. And the film does star Chris Pratt, who is a known outcast among the perverted Hollywood types. Good for you, Chris Pratt. Okay, well, there is a Q post that uh, mentions, I should say 17 post, <laughs> that mentions the, uh, this director, okay? And it's uh, 17 post 1851, okay? It had a link on it. I clicked on that link and it took me to this article from 2018. When this director, <clears throat> had some photo surface at a party. Well, you can see what the theme was on it. He is dressed up as a priest in this, uh, his costume here. So he's showing in these pictures, willingly posing. And uh, as a result of this, Disney let him go. <laughs> well, that was five years ago. I mean, now Disney would probably move him into the executive chair, but uh, back then he was, Disney severed ties with him over this very item. Interesting to see, huh? Okay, so I have to say, I have enjoyed this uh, Guardians of the Galaxy in the past. I do intend to see this one, and I'm going to share with you at the end of my video how I plan to do it in a smart fashion. Because as much as that was cataloging the things that could be disturbing about the film, I like the idea that there are characters that are fighting for truth and freedom, that there are characters who are working with others who don't look the same as them, but they're treated as equals. And we live in a much more diverse world than we've ever been allowed to know. And I think if there's some predictive programming, an element of it in this film, some of it's good. We need to be prepared to accept others as peers and colleagues and comrades in arm who don't look like us if they share the same goals and values. So there, it's not all a bad thing, okay? And of course, this has all been done in an entertaining way. And I doubt it's going to be the vehicle by which very many normies are gonna start waking up, sad to say. <laughs> but for those of us that are, I would like to know with the, uh, the deep state, ties that that director has was the intent of this film to get some implied consent to continue those type of activities with innocent little ones or is it the white hats 
trying to, again, awaken us to the fact that we have a diverse um, population, that uh, we can have comrades that don't look like us. What, what was going on here? Because someone went to great lengths to make sure those scenes were included and they don't seem to have been totally essential to the movie per se. So let's see, my question for the universe is going to be, in the film Guardians of the Galaxy 3, starring Chris Pratt, there are numerous scenes that uh, show disturbing things that um, quite uh, clearly mirror some real life deep state shenanigans. So was the purpose of this film to get some implied consent to continue on those paths of behavior if they're a deep state operator? Or was it at the behest of white hats to uh, have us get more discerning about seeing programming in movies to recognize we could have colleagues and peers and comrades that uh, look very different than us? Or, you know, what's going on? So white hat, black hat, what's going on universe? Tell us, give us insights and information. Okay, I'm gonna switch the uh, camera, let you see me finish the shuffling and we'll find out what the universe wants us to know about Guardians of the Galaxy 3, especially about those um, scenes and the, you know whether those were included at the behest of the White Hats or the Deep State, let's find out. Okay, <clears throat> because there's some power in threes, for a third time, I'll just say we're asking the universe respectfully uh, to let us have some insights and information about what the rationale was by behind the Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Was it White Hat, Deep State, and uh, other insights and information as deemed appropriate? First card is the Six of Cups. Then we have the Eight of Wands. We have Judgment. <laughs> I'll tell you why I'm chuckling. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Star. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, first I'll tell you what insights I'm getting based on uh, my intuition and then what elements of the cards led me to that, including the chuckle that I had as I was setting the cards out. Well, we were asking about the uh, whether it was the White Hats or the Deep State who were behind embedding those scenes in that movie. Was it to get more implied consent to continue on that path, um, what was going on, okay? And our the situation was indicated by the Six of Cups, which is a card of, of little ones loving one another, siblings, okay? Brotherly love and sisterly love and a card of reconciliation. So I'm getting that. <laughs> the director wasn't too happy it's a consequence for some of uh, the uh, actions that he uh, reveled in, in years past. He was required to add those scenes to the movie, okay? We are in some of the final days of lots of actions going on. We're in the final days before some um, big truths are revealed and out, okay? Now, the deep state never quits hoping that they can create a little mayhem, garner one last little bit of treasure and pleasure. So they were hoping to have some implied consent thrown their way with those scenes in the movie. All right, but we have the star showing up here. And uh, so no matter what their hopes had been, they're gonna be dashed. And uh, this is a card of uh, hope, fulfillment and love and uh, just good things. So no matter what they had hoped, okay, we'll put those in, yeah, okay. All right, yeah, now will that make me have a little less house arrest or whatever? <laughs> and they did it. Um, no matter what they hoped, it's not gonna work out that way. And there's gonna be some, um, some good um, occurring because of this movie and discussions like we're having today in this video. 
I'll explain that in a minute. But why I was laughing here was with the judgment card. I could just, you know, okay, fine, I'll put it in, I'll put it in. Yeah, we'll include those scenes. So let's get a couple other cards and see if there's some other insights, information, or laughs to be had on this topic. Again, where I said that we were, this is a card of skilled labor and results and results here. So, <laughs> and here a nod that there was, uh, they, the deep state thought they were cunning. They were hoping, again, I think their hopes are hinging on implied consent, which we'll talk about a little more. I apologize for the glare there. <laughs> okay. But uh, you can see which cards I had, even if you can't see the full card. So let's recap. We were asking about what was the intent behind some uh, rather disturbing themes and scenes that are found in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. And we were asking, were those from the White Hats and Alliance or are they from Deep State? We got the answer that they were from the White Hats, solidly from the White Hats. They were um, made to include those scenes because as I said, see, there's a, there's a couple of, you could look at it both ways. On the one hand, those are disturbing scenes. They might possibly help wake people up, especially if someone sitting in a theater says, oh, that's what I read about when I was reading about blah, blah, blah. It may help the awakening process. It may help us to realize that we are moving into a time when it will be publicly known that we're part of a very diverse population, not just on our earth, but beyond. And uh, maybe get people ready to work in a collegial fashion with those that look different, you know, and abandon that shoot first, ask questions later that humanity is unfortunately known for. Okay, now we also got a nod that the deep state was still hoping to get some implied consent to continue those shenanigans wherever they still have pockets of uh, power and control. And uh, so that's why I said at the end of this, this video, I'm going to tell you that, yes, I do plan to go see this movie, or I might wait till it's available to stream here at home. But <clears throat> here's what I'm going to do, as I do with a lot of media. I'm going to very audibly, may not be in a crowd, but I'm going to make it known that I am giving my consent, I am paying a fee to watch this film for my entertainment only, that there is not any implied consent being given to have negative actions depicted in that film used with any power or authority that was garnered from me with an implied consent, okay? Or as my friend Linda Paris says, I'm just watching this crap, I'm not buying it. <laughs> but I wanna be more specific, especially with my tarot background and just say, I'm not giving any implied consent to this. I am only consenting to watch this to be entertained. And I'm not giving any of my control, power, or consent to have this be used for any other purposes than my entertainment during the portion of time that I watch this film. So you can watch films. You can watch all sorts of things. You can read all sorts of things. And where in the past that was used as a tricky form of getting implied consent, well, we told them about zombies and they watched the movie. They had not paid to watch it. Now we can make those roll out. Okay. We can remove our consent for those things. Remember, the universe doesn't recognize time like we do. You can also state that you're removing any past consent you gave, especially if it wasn't fully informed and explicit consent. So use your powers, folks. We have three big powers. As I see it right now with our world the way it is, we have three major powers that we need to practice and utilize and start to strengthen. And one of those is our power of knowing when we can give and revoke consent. So consent is one. And the other one is discernment. I call it CDM, discernment, and then manifesting. Okay, I wanna make manifest a world where implied consent isn't even a thing. I want it to be a world where only explicit and informed consent counts for anything. And I'm gonna live in that world in that timeline, I really am. Because I'm not settling for less. And folks, I don't want you to settle for anything less either. We may have to live in a plane of existence that's in flux right now, that hasn't been totally 
changed, cleaned up, and uh, uh, ascended to where it's going to go. But that doesn't, we don't have to give our consent to that. I'm here in spite of that, because <laughs> I consent to live on a plane of existence where all those things have happened. And we have ascended and we're reaching our full potential and technologies are being unveiled and used and available to everybody where there's no such thing as elite bloodlines, okay? Where our DNA is restored and we all have unlimited potential and uh, the opportunity to pursue it. Okay, so until we get there, I'm here, but it's not, it's not what I'm making manifest. It's just what I have to deal with. <laughs> So that's it for this video. Enjoy the movie if you choose to watch it. Be careful with your consent. Revoke it if you feel led to do so. And uh, claim that power of consent and revoking consent. Claim it. It's one of our big tools that will help in this war. It's one way we can help from our very own wherever we're at. Our vehicle, our cars, <clears throat> our apartments, our houses are out in public. So. Use those powers, guys. Consent, discernment, and manifesting. They are so powerful. Until next time, I send you love and light. And thank you for your time. Very sincerely. Good night.